Hi, you're watching the Android Authority channel. I'm April. Today, I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader, root, and flash custom recovery on a Google Nexus 10 running Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean build JDQ39. The rooting procedure uses the CF auto root method, which is one of the easiest rooting methods around. This is a relatively safe procedure, but still you need to remember that this tutorial is meant for a specific target device. Don't try this on a different device. You could destroy it. We can't give you a 100% guarantee that these instructions will work all the time and in all cases. Back up your files and data just in case this procedure erases or corrupts your device's data. We won't be responsible for whatever happens to you or your device. Follow this tutorial at your own risk. Now that you have been properly warned, let's see what you need to prepare. For this procedure, you will need a Windows PC with a tablet's USB drivers installed. Chainfire's rooting package, the custom recovery image of your choice, the tablet's USB cable, and of course the Google Nexus 10. I'm using a Windows computer for this procedure, and the instructions in this guide are primarily for use with Windows. The CF auto root package includes scripts for both Linux and Mac, so I'm sure this procedure works on those platforms too. Temporarily disable antivirus software and firewall programs on your computer. These tend to interrupt the process. If you have the USB drivers for your tablet, install them. You can install the drivers along with the Android software development kit. Download your custom recovery image. It will have a .img extension. You can choose among Clockwork Mod Recovery, Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery, or TWRP Recovery. The links are in the description box. You will also need Chainfire CF Auto Root Package for the Nexus 10. See the download link in the description box. Prepare your tablet's USB cable. You'll need it for connecting the tablet to your PC. Lastly, make sure that your tablet has at least 50% battery level to ensure that it has enough power for the entire process. If you're all set, let's begin. First, extract the CF auto root zip to a folder on your computer. In my case, I extracted the files to a new folder named Fastboot on the C drive. You will get two folders and three files like this. Turn off the Nexus 10. Then, boot it to bootloader mode by holding volume up, volume down, and the power button until you see this screen. When you see this screen, connect the tablet to the computer via the USB cable. Let's check if your computer detects your tablet. Open a command prompt. Change directory to the tools subfolder inside the fastboot folder on the C drive, like this. Then, use the fastboot devices command to check for connected devices, like this. Your tablet's serial number will appear on the screen. This means that the tablet is now ready. If the serial number doesn't appear, check whether you have installed the USB drivers. Close the command prompt window when done. If both tablet and PC can communicate, you can now proceed to rooting the tablet. Open the folder where you extracted the CF auto root package and double click on root-windows.bat. A command prompt will appear, showing Chainfire's rooting script. Read and understand the instructions flashed on the screen. The script will require an unlocked bootloader to root your tablet. If your tablet is already unlocked, the toolkit will proceed immediately to the rooting process. In my case, the tablet's bootloader is still locked, so I will let the script unlock the bootloader for me. Unlocking the bootloader will wipe data on the tablet, so be sure to back up beforehand. Once you're ready to unlock the bootloader, press any key to continue. A warning message will appear on your tablet screen, like this. Using the volume keys, highlight Yes and tap the power button to select it. Your bootloader will be unlocked. Afterwards, the script will begin rooting your tablet. You will see a red Android logo and lines of text on your tablet screen. This is the rooting script at work here. Once the rooting process is done, your tablet will boot back into normal mode. You can now disconnect your tablet from the computer. Press any key on the command prompt window to close it. Was the rooting procedure successful? Let's check. Look for the SuperSue app in the app drawer. Yep, SuperSue is here. This usually indicates that the device is rooted, but let's double check root privileges by using the Root Checker app. You can download this app from the Google Play Store. Just launch the app and verify root access. Root Checker will ask for root permissions and SuperSue will prompt you to grant it. So grant it. Wonderful! My Nexus 10 is now rooted, but we are not done yet. We still have to flash custom recovery, which should be a breeze because of the unlocked bootloader. 
First, copy the custom recovery image into the Tools subfolder of the Fastboot folder. In my case, it's here. Both fastboot-windows.exe and the custom recovery image should be inside the same folder. This recovery image, by the way, is for Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. You can use the non-touch version of Clockwork Mod Recovery or TWRP Recovery if you like. It's a longish file name, isn't it? You'd like to rename it into something shorter like recovery.img to simplify the command later. Next, open a command prompt window. Change directory to the Tools subfolder inside the Fastboot folder. In my case, I use this command line. Turn off the tablet. Then, press the volume up, volume down, and the power buttons. This is the bootloader mode screen. When you see this screen, connect your tablet to the computer via the USB cable. Time to flash a recovery image now. On the command prompt window, type this command followed by the custom recovery image file name, which is now recovery.img. Press Enter to continue. Fastboot will now upload the custom recovery image to your tablet. It shouldn't take long. Once you see this message, the installation process is complete. Type this command to restart bootloader mode. You can now disconnect the tablet from the computer. Let's check whether we successfully flashed Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. In bootloader mode, use the volume keys to highlight recovery mode. Then, press the power button to select it. And here it is. We have successfully loaded Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. Congratulations! Your Nexus 10 now has root, an unlocked bootloader, and custom recovery. You can now try flashing custom ROMs on it. We have several guides for those, so feel free to look around. For more Android guides, news, and reviews, visit AndroidAuthority.com. I'm April. Thanks again for watching, and remember, the power of Android is yours!